To start using SERP Scraping API, head to the Smart Proxy dashboard, hit Scraping and choose SERP, then go to the API Authentication tab. You'll notice that a username, password, and authentication token have been generated for you. You can copy credentials by clicking on each. To generate a new password, click on the arrow icon. Other details can't be changed manually. Now head back to Scrapers. Choose from the popular Scrapers list below, or hit Create New Project. Next, select a target. Now enter your query. Below you'll find Advanced Scraper Settings. Under Parameters, specify your targeted language, geolocation, device type, and website domain. Then, Pagination Settings allow you to choose which SERP pages you'll extract. Target-specific parameters depend on which scraper you're using. For example, when scraping Google search results, you can filter by content type. Finally, in other settings, enable parsing, autocorrection, or safe search. Hit Start Scraping. In the Response tab, you'll see parsed JSON results. Based on your target, you can also get a formatted table or live preview. With the buttons below, export results as a JSON file or copy the output to your clipboard. You may also copy the scraper request. Head to the Request tab, specify the programming language, and click here. To reuse the scraping template, hit Save New Scraper and return to it when you need it. Alternatively, create a scheduled request. Simply click on the saved scraper and hit Schedule. Set a period and enter your delivery webhook address. Then, save it. Your results will be automatically delivered until you switch the scheduling off. To track the requests you make, visit the Statistics tab. Here you check the scraper's activity over a chosen period. That's all you need to start using SERP Scraping API. For more guides on how to use Smart Proxy products, visit our YouTube channel and documentation.